Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. In one of my video, I have said that we have to practice to learn the automation, right? So if you are practicing Selenium, Protector, TypeScript, I mean, uh, Playwright, so WebDriver IO, Cypress or whatever it is, right? Any of the test automation tool, we should practice then only we can succeed, right? So a lot of us try to learn from different source, from different YouTube channels, YouTube videos, uh, Udemy courses or maybe blogs. There are plenty of materials are there but the problem here is we do not have a website or any kind of uh, practice website where we can learn from end to end right of course there are few even i have my own letcode.in but that is just for practice so if you want to learn about the web driver methods that is fine but to practice selenium or any other in more you have to do the end to end scenario right so i'm going to give you the first test case before this video we already have a video where i have discussed like how to create the service now instance if you have missed that please check that based on that only we can do the practice okay so first step we have to create the instance that we already have discussed in the previous video in this video we are going to discuss about the test case one okay and i haven't tried like the actual test cases like how the manual test cases like expected actual all those stuff I just have given you the steps and you have to practice the steps that's it okay now how we are going to practice is up to you so if you are using selenium you can write uh, simple within the main method or you can use the test ng or maybe you can also use like page object model or cucumber whatever so whatever the tools you are run, uh, um, i mean learning based on that you have to implement so i will give you only the steps now where can i get the steps is very simple just go to letcode.in okay and here we have a new section called test practice so click on that and here you can see we have the tc001 test case 1 test case 2 and test case 3 so i have three test cases as of now in this video we are going to talk about the first test case okay and based on your response i will try to add more test cases in the upcoming videos okay so let's get into the video now Okay, so we are going to discuss about the test case number 001, that is TC001, and here we are going to learn how to automate the login positive and the negative. There are plenty of steps we can perform for this single page, but just to make it very simple, I have only few steps. Okay, so first one, navigate to your ServiceNow instance. So to navigate your ServiceNow instance, this is your URL. Each and every one will get a different different number like this. That is how ServiceNow works. Okay, so please refer the previous video if you have missed that. And then you have to uh, verify the title is service now. So here we can see the title is service now. Of course, we have to do the verification using the Selenium or protector or whatever the uh, tool you are using. Okay. And then verify username text fields has the label of username. That means here we have the username, right? So we have to uh, ve verify that the label contains username. And similarly, uh, we have to verify for the password. Okay. So here we have to verify for, for the password and verify for the language. Okay. And then you have to enter your username, enter your password, okay. And next one, verify language is selected as English by default. So here you can see we have the in the drop down we have English, right? So verify that it is selected by default, okay. And then verify forgot password is visible to the user. So here we have the forgot part, forgot password. We have to ver verify that, okay. Then uh, verify user can see the login button. So here we have the login button is it visible or not we have to verify that and then as the user click on the login button verify the title as service now okay so i have my username and the uh, password the valid credential once i click on the login button and once it's logged in successfully i have to verify that title is service now okay so very easy and after this you can just log it out okay so this is your test case number one for the positive now let's go with the negative one okay so here we have to again navigate to our service now and we have to verify the title okay if you see here uh, this two steps and these two steps are basically repeating so how to optimize the code how to make this as a uh, like um, utility function or maybe a uh, project specific functions you have to think about it okay because we should not repeat the steps for each and every uh, every scenario if it's something is common you can use different uh, techniques to handle that okay i will leave that up to you however you know you can practice based on that but if you want to just learn the selenium functions you can write within the main method and you can 
uh, repeat the steps as well okay but if you are intermediate level then probably you can do how to write the modular functions okay now let's talk about the login negative scenario here we have to again navigate and we have to verify the title then user clicks on the login button okay when user clicks on the login button of course there should not be any username and password and once we click on the login button so here you can see we have invalid input in uh, username right so we have to verify this error message then enter the username as admin okay i'm going to enter the username as admin and i'm going to click on the login button now here we are we can see that username or password is invalid okay so we have to verify that particular message and that's it we are pretty much done with the negative scenario of course i know we can write a lot more than this but just for practice i think this is fine okay um okay so that's it for the login for positive and the negative scenario the test case number 001 i will see you in the next one with the test case number 002 thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon if you find this helpful please share with your friends so that they can also learn okay thank you tata bye bye